you guys if your Mac is running really really slow there are a couple reasons why it's probably doing that now the number one reason is because you're running out of space so to check that out just go into your Apple logo that's up here so that's the top left hand side click on it click on about this Mac so that's your first option and we're gonna check how much storage you guys have left so your third option will be storage let's just click right there under storage you guys will see the first option up here you may not see all these disks here because that's something I have connected it's an external hard drive but here in my Macintosh HD I can see exactly how much I'm taking up now if it's calculating like this don't worry about it I can see already that I have 1.36 terabytes available at the moment if you guys have two gigs or a couple megabytes left then your Mac must be running really slow because it needs a couple gigs to run efficiently from what I see in my own experience I need in this type of Mac I need at least a hundred gigs of free space in order for it to run smoothly if I get down to 50 gigs it already starts to slow down quite a bit for most of you I would say you guys need at least 75 gigs free okay and for those of you who are running higher end iMacs then you might need those 100 gigs like I need myself for my iMac free storage okay so right now I can see that I have free storage which is good I have one terabyte which is a thousand gigs so I'm good to go okay so this is the very first thing you guys have to look at because that's the main thing that I've seen in all Macs when they're running really slow this is the problem so if you go into manage let's just click on manage we will see all the problems that we have so right here we can see an applications have 48 gigs I can see that I have a couple gigs right here in on the files sure so you guys can click on those look at documents that are taking up too much maybe there's some apps that you guys don't even use so maybe uninstall those maybe you guys have a bunch of photos that you may not need or videos okay so just clean that up you guys can go through here there's also if you click, click on the very first option where it says recommendations you guys can see reduce clutter so you can review files and just go through that process so I won't take you through that because I want to show you everything that you guys can do so let's say you guys already cleaned up your Mac and you still have no more space well I recommend buying an external hard drive or use Google there's Google Drive and that gives you 15 gigs free so you guys are good to go as you know iCloud kind of sucks because it only gives you 5 gigs so that's nothing and you guys can also use Dropbox which is online as, as well so you guys can put some stuff in there again they don't they only give you a couple gigs free so it might not be the best option anyways just clean that up you guys will see that everything runs a lot smoother so let's just close this up so back here if you guys need even more storage okay and that's usually the case for most of you so I'm gonna show you a website so here's this website that I've been using for years and that's the only reason I recommend it because you don't need to be a tech key guy in order to get around this website so what this website tells you is what you guys can install on your Mac to make it run faster so if you guys really want to invest on your Mac this is the place to go because if you go to the Apple Store and you want to upgrade your RAM or your HD then you guys are in problems because it's very expensive here it's good and it's all compatible and you don't have to be a geek to see what's compatible and what's not so to get started just go to this website you guys will see it down here below anyways the, the link and then just click on agree so I recommend running the scanner because most of you don't know what's compatible what's not I always use the scanner and it's always compatible so I'm good again I've been using it for years that's the only reason I'm telling you guys about this so I'm gonna click on scan my computer it's gonna download a file I just have to install that so it downloaded already so I can go right here here's crucial Mac scanner so I'm gonna click there once I do this don't worry about this you guys can click OK if it still doesn't run after you click OK just go right here into system preferences so let's just open that up if you don't see system preferences down there don't worry you go to your spotlight search which is up here and just type in system preferences you guys will see it so once we have this open under security and privacy you guys click right there see right down here where it says crucial Mac scanner has been blocked you guys can click on open anyway all right so just open so anything that's not from the App Store or any developers, it's going to be blocked. So no worries. So right now I opened up 
this side because that's wrong. And here we go. So you open this up. So you guys should see your Mac at this point. And it's going to tell you what's available for your Mac. So on the Mac that I'm doing this video right now is an iMac 2015. Yeah, mid 5K, 27 inch. So it should tell you that information right there, what your Mac is. And here it's going to tell you a little bit more information about your Mac and what upgrades you guys could do. Okay, so right now it's telling me that I have this. For most of you, maybe you guys will just have two, two slots, not four, all right? So if it's a MacBook, most likely you guys only have two slots. Maybe you guys have two gigs right here, another two gigs right here. Maybe you can upgrade to a lot more. And that's going to tell you that information up here. So it's telling me that I can go up to 32 gigs in total. And right here, I'm already done. Most of you, most of you probably have the same thing, 32 gigs max memory or maybe 16 gigs. And right now it's the time to upgrade that because that will make it a little bit faster. You won't make it four times faster, eight times faster, but it does make that slight difference, which I like. So that's why I max out every Mac that I have. I go to this website. I don't do it through Apple because Apple is way too expensive. And right here, you guys can select what you guys want, okay? There's a ton of videos in my channel showing you guys how to do these upgrades. Very, very easy, very for beginners, okay? Now, something besides the RAM that you guys can upgrade, so that's this right here. So you guys can upgrade the RAM, okay, up to the max, so I would max it out for sure. But even if you guys don't want to buy the RAM, that's okay. Before buying the RAM, you guys should think about this. So if I scroll down, I can see compatible SSDs. So this is what you guys could upgrade in order to have more storage in your Mac. So let's say your Mac only has 250 gigs already, what you guys can do is install maybe a 500 gigs. Maybe you guys have 500 gigs already and it's full. So maybe you need two terabytes. And so you guys can see two terabytes, it's only two for 289. So it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Two terabytes usually for most people, it's pretty good. And for that price, again, pretty good. And those SSDs, again, depending on what Mac you guys have, maybe you guys don't even have an SSD. Maybe you guys have in HD, so HDD. So this is an HDD. This is a hard drive. This, if you have a MacBook Pro, for example, 2009 or 2010, you most likely have one of these guys. They run pretty good, they're okay, but this is old school. The new ones look like this, okay? And the new ones, they run 10 times faster than these old dudes. So besides adding more storage to your Mac, most of you will be adding more speed to your Mac as well. The installation, again, very easy. I have videos in my channel showing you guys how to do that. If you guys have an older Mac, most likely you have one of these. So once you guys install one of these guys, they're gonna run so fast. If you guys have newer MacBooks, maybe 2014, 15, 16, then most likely you guys have already an SSD. But right now, what you guys can add is just more storage so you guys don't have to worry about it getting full all the time. What also affects Macs is when you have a ton of files on your desktop. So let me show you a good example of that. This desktop. As you guys can see, this desktop is full of files between videos, photos, folders. It's a mess. This is what's going to make your Mac slower because it needs to constantly be reading these files in order to keep your preview on your desktop. So it's making it really, really slow just because you have all this clutter right there. So you guys should put it under your documents, just organize it, go into your finder, organize your files, don't have them in your desktop. If you guys are currently working just in one file or two files, sure, have them there until you're done, but do not keep this mess. And this is a very good example of something messy that will make your Mac run slower. For those of you who don't know what an external hard drive is, I'm just gonna quickly show you. Now, you guys can buy it from any store, eBay, Amazon, Best Buy. I do have videos showing you guys how to set this up on your Mac and in the really, really great. So this is actually a little bit cheaper than buying upgrades and you guys can keep your files here. If they're really important, then you guys would need to buy two external hard drives so you guys have a backup of your actual external hard drive. Anyways, these are external hard drives. As you guys can see, for 130 bucks, you guys could get four terabytes, which is quite big. 
So those are reasons why your Mac could be running really, really slow. And like I said, storage is the number one problem in most Macs that are running slow. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have even more problems with your Mac and you really need to just wipe it clean, again, I have a separate video showing you guys how to do that. You guys can factory reset it. So that means everything freshly reinstalled. You guys can also wipe everything from it and then it's gonna run faster as well because you're getting rid of a lot of garbage files in there. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.